Trey Cool, <laughs> uh, known also as Frank Evan Wright III, was born in uh, Frankfurt, Germany, 9 December 1972. My brother Trey was a really cute baby. And old ladies used to come up and, oh, look at this beautiful baby girl. And he would kick. I was in the military at the time. And when I got out of the Army, we moved up here in the mountains uh, north of Laytonville. It's about three and a half hours north of San Francisco. It's kind of a mix of sort of back to the land hippies, crazy mountain people, uh, cowboys. We didn't have electricity or TV or cartoons, but Trey actually liked it. He could, you know, run around and make as much noise as he wanted. The great evil, Trey evil, will now attempt to scare the horses to death. He was loud, rowdy, you know, big mouth, always putting on an act. You go up to somebody on Fifth Avenue and you say, hello, Chop, young age. He was a handful. <laughs> Larry uh, Livermore was our neighbor up on the mountain. I was trying to have a funk rock band, so I needed a, a drummer. California. There was a lot of musicians there, but they were mostly hippie musicians, and they hated the kind of music we were trying to play. So I figured the only way was to get one of the kids that just didn't really have any preconceptions. He needed a drummer really bad, so he said, hey, kid, <laughs> how about these? As soon as he got on the drums, he just took off. Trey he was only 11 or 12 years old at the time. He drummed on everything. Any surface was his drum. In the car, I was like, could you please quit that? He got to where he could play the drums pretty good. And that's how they formed the band, The Lookout. Oh, you remember this for the rest of your life. We were a punk rock band, and we all had to have punk names. And, uh... It's very cool. It was as obvious, it seemed to me. Uh, I'd had a little bit of French, so why not? He loved it. Oh, he thought, I'm a rock star now. Once Trey got into high school, he was pretty serious about his drums. I could tell he had something going for him that was really special. He had the talent. He had the will to want to do it. And he wanted to get out of school a little early and start music and move away. I understood it right away, and, and so did his mother, that uh, if he was going to make music a career, he had to leave this little town. They realized there was no point in sticking it up for graduation. He knew he wasn't going to really do college as far as being an accountant. I mean, what would he possibly do other than drums? Trey dropped out early, and then from there, went straight to Berkeley. Wow! Trey just kind of started getting to know everybody. He was just the most outgoing human being you can imagine. Really the class clown of the punk scene. Trey had met Billy and Mike at Gilman and hung out with them a while. They were looking for a drummer at the time, and Trey just happened to be at the right place at the right time. Trey was just such a great drummer and, and so perfectly fit with those guys. Like a glove. <laughs> when Trey came on, he took him to the 